Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're going to smoke a couple of turkey breasts and we're going to make some cranberry barbecue sauce to go with it. Stick around. So you can go one of two ways when buying a turkey breast. You can either buy the whole breast with the bone in and just uh, remove the breast, or if you're lucky enough, you can find the turkey breast prepackaged. I happen to have two of these, they're about two pounds each, and we're gonna use some Kingsford briquettes along with some cherry wood today for a mild smoky flavor. We're also gonna inject these turkey breasts with Creole butter, that's always a hit. And today we're gonna roll with Townsend Spice and Supply brisket rub. Uh, that's going on one of the turkey breasts. And on the other one, we're gonna go with a more of a barbecue profile, like a sweet barbecue profile. This is the sweet barbecue rub from Townsend Spice and Supply. Go check them out in the description box below. I'll put a link down to their website. All right, so first things first, these tend to hold a lot of moisture. So we wanna just take a paper towel and blot them dry. Now, a lot of people will remove the skin. I happen to like to leave the skin on. I feel like it protects the breast and helps it from drying out. But you can do whichever you like. If you wanna remove the skin after you cook it, that's totally fine, it's up to you. Let's go ahead and get these injected. I like to go pretty heavy with the injection. Again, that's all personal preference, do it how you like. Try to make a pocket, move the needle around like so. Back it out a little bit, try not to squirt yourself. Let's get that other one injected. Move this one off to the side. We're gonna hit each one of these with some canola spray. So on this one, we're gonna go with our sweet barbecue rub from Townsend. Let's go with this uh, brisket rub from Townsend. More of a pepper heavy or pepper forward rub. Let's go get the UDS fired up. And as you know, I like to roll with my tumbleweeds. A few more pieces of charcoal. And I've already got some uh, briquettes down in the charcoal basket. So we'll just let these uh, burn until the charcoal is kind of ashed over. All right, had some audio difficulties. So as you see there, uh, there's already some unlit briquettes in the charcoal basket, and we have the lit briquettes in the charcoal chimney, and we're just gonna dump those on top of the unlit briquettes. And we'll also toss in a few uh, cherry wood chunks. I think I used four in total. We'll just go ahead and get the lid back on, and next I'll show you the intake valves, or not valves, they're holes with magnets that are covering them. As you can see there, <laughs> I painted one of them, uh, well, I painted all of them black to match the rest of the, uh, the drum because they were different colors. That didn't work out too well. As you can see, the, uh, the black spray paint is melting off and it's exposing the green color for the, on the magnets. So I got to do something different there and I need to repaint. So what we have here is our thermometer. We're reading 131 inside the uh, UDS and then, you know, 66 degrees because I haven't put that probe in the, uh, in the meat yet, but I need to clean that up first. Once we reach 275, that's when I'll put the turkey breast on. All right, the UDS is up to 275 degrees. Let's get these bad boys on. All right, we got these guys on the uh, smoker. We're gonna go ahead and put the probe in. Let's probe this one, just like so. And we'll monitor for temperatures. Um, we're gonna come back and baste this about every, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, just kind of take a look at it as we go. While we wait on those turkey breasts to get up to temperature, let's make some cranberry barbecue sauce. In order to make our cranberry barbecue sauce, we have to have a cooking vessel, one pan, one sweet onion, a quarter cup of brown sugar, wash your sister sauce, apple cider vinegar, molasses, 
And last but not least, it finally has its day, jellied cranberry sauce. You don't need the whole onion, uh, we're just gonna do half. I'd rather have a chef's knife to do this, but it's in the dishwasher. It's about enough of that. Let's move that off to the side. 14 ounces of ketchup. Call that 14. Apple cider vinegar, quarter of a cup. And quarter cup of brown sugar. W sauce, about two tablespoons worth. That'll do. Quarter cup of molasses. Uh, two tablespoons, I'm sorry. Not a quart cup. And last but not least, jellied cranberry sauce. Sploop. All right, let's get that all incorporated. Oh, and make a mess. Let's make a mess. All right, we're gonna get this on the grill. Got the old Blaze grill. Let's uh, get this guy fired up. Just stick that guy on there. We're gonna let him go until uh, he's nice and toasty and bubbly and starts reducing down a little bit and we'll be back. All right, those turkey breasts have been going for a little while. Let's check on them. Looking good, that bark is setting up nicely. Let's give them a little bit of a butter bath. We're gonna let those go and uh, check back here in about 20 more minutes. All right, let's check back in. It's looking good, let's give it a stir. We really wanna focus on getting that cranberry sauce good and melted down. So we'll run this through a strainer to get the onions out. All right, folks, we are back and we are at, oh, my dog's mad. We're at 160 degrees, so let's get these breasts pulled off and uh, that's gonna carry over to 165 once we rest it. Man, those look good. Let's get them off there. Okay, so we got each turkey breast off the smoker. And what I have here is some compound butter that I made a while back. I'm gonna put a, a card up here that you can click on and that'll give you the instructions on how to make your own compound butter. But I'm gonna slice a few uh, slices of this for each breast and we're gonna rest them in this foil. All right, let's get that wrapped up. Nice and tightly. Same with this guy. Rest easy, friends. Let's check on our sauce. Bubbly. I think it needs a stir. It's definitely taking on the color of cranberry sauce. I think I'm gonna put this on the smoker to get a smoky uh, flavor to it to finish it up. Good idea. Every now and then I have one. So we're just gonna let this go for a while, maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. And of course, while we wait, we hydrate. <sighs> Might as well be water. Old Michelob Ultra the ultimate diet beer that really isn't. <laughs> All right, folks, we got our barbecue sauce pulled off the smoker. Smells amazing. It's smoky, has that cranberry smell to it. it. Smells like barbecue sauce, like a sweet barbecue sauce mixed with cranberry sauce. And it's nice and warm and inviting. Can't wait, but we got to wait for it to cool down because it's about like lava right now. So we're going to keep on letting these breasts rest and uh, we're going to let this sauce rest too. And we'll be back in about eh, 15 minutes. That's about 1.5 milliseconds of your time. I think that sauce has cooled down enough for us to handle. So let's just pour it into this bowl. I have one of these little dealies. I don't know what they're called, calendar or colander or something like that. Anyway, it catches stuff so you can pour, pour the sauce out and catch all the big chunks of things. Give it a good shake, like a Polaroid picture. You young folks don't even know what that means, do you? And here's what we're left with. So the consistency is pretty good. Looks like barbecue sauce to me. Let's see what we got. Ooh, all that butter melted down. Smells awesome. Definitely get the aroma of the compound butter and that uh, Townsend uh, brisket rub on that one. And this one, compound butter, you can smell it, but that one smells sweeter. Drizzle those juices on there. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Tender and juicy. Man, you can see the juice on my glove there. Got a good smoke ring. Pulls apart easy. Oh, that's money. Now we're gonna go into our um, our sweet barbecue rub from Townsend. Oh goodness, that injection, look at that. Oh my gosh. So here's that piece, nice and juicy as you can see. Let's go in for a bite on this one. This is the sweet barbecue. The rub on that one has a little bit of, um, just a little bit of heat in the back end, but it's mostly sweet. You get the injection, that butter, that uh, Creole butter. You get the smokiness, that cherry, mild cherry smoke. Uh, you get the tenderness and the juiciness of the turkey breast. Phenomenal. Let's try it with a little bit of this sauce. It's like playful. And you do get the tartness from the cranberries. It's evident, it's there. It's smoky, uh, savory, sweet, and tangy. And tastes like cranberries. You should give it a shot. I think you'd like it. We gotta figure out which one we like the best. This one's the brisket rub from Townsend uh, Spice and Supply. Definitely more pepper, garlic, salt, onion powder. I would say more heat and more of a bold steaky type of flavor on turkey, but it works. It's really good. It's, it's like a Texas style uh, sliced turkey. I think it comes down to personal preference. And for me, I'm just not into real sweet barbecue all the time. I like my barbecue to be pepper forward. I know that's kind of a Texas thing, but that's just what I like. I'm from Arkansas, go figure. I think I'm going with the brisket rub uh, for your smoked turkey. It's just, man, it's hard to beat. As a matter of fact, I gotta go back in. I mean, it's just, dear Lord. Mm. It's cheap and easy. You know what else is easy? Hitting that subscribe button, the like button, and smashing that bell. It helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. Uh, but like I said, this is really easy. It's inexpensive and it's fun to do. It's a good change of pace for your Thanksgiving dinner. Your guests will love it. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I'm Justin with Cask and Q. We'll see you next time.